I wanted to label it. And I saw that Scrap Diva 29 was showing it um, on her channel, but that it wasn't working or Instagram. I can't remember exactly where it was on um, on her Instagram, but she said it wasn't working. So I'm like, crap, I'm going to try it because let's be honest, like some of these major companies, they come up with really cool ideas and then like they don't work or they're garbage because I know for a fact, and I'm not just talking mess, but I know for a fact for several people that I have spoken with and talked to or whatever that have their sewing machine say it's garbage. So <laughs> let's see how this works. And I know it sounds like I'm talking mess, but it's just kind of funny. I'm like, I really wanted it. And then I was checking on Amazon for the original one because from what I understand, the original one is a lot smaller than this. This thing is ginormous. Look at my little freaking hand. It's ginormous, so let's see how it works. Um, so she was saying that it wasn't feeding through, it wasn't working, so I'm like, you know what? Let's try it. But let's keep the receipt to make sure, <laughs> just in case. Um, and truth be told, the box looks a little beat up. For a product that's brand new, the box looks hella beat up. Um, it was open, so I'm like, ah, uh, they only had one. They had a pink one and, um, a mint one. And I sent Sabrina a picture. I'm like, look, they have them at Hobby Lobby. And then, like, all the packaging looks like this. Looks like straight up garbage. It looks like something you'd find it, you know, left over at Tuesday morning. So, I'm like, let's, and I know I really should stop talking crap. I'm like, let's try it. Let's see, let's see if it works. Um, this is the capitals are already in it. She said you had to assemble it. So this one's already assembled. So I'm not sure if somebody already gave it a crack and let's see how it works. It comes with two of these electrical tape, two electrical tapes, it's not electrical tape. <laughs> it comes with, oh my God, I have issues. It comes with two sizes. Um, uh, this is the small one and this is the, the, the wider one. And you can actually buy the set of three. This one, um, is $10.99. So of course you damn right know I used the coupon. This was $29.99. It came up to $17. The ones on Amazon were like were the smaller ones. The damn, I don't know how I feel about this. <laughs> this thing is huge. This thing is freaking huge. Um I don't know. I do I haven't had one of the regular ones, so we're gonna find out. So we're gonna let's, let's see how stupid I look right now. Um let's read the instructions. So We are, I apologize, I apologize right now for this hot mess, this hot mess that's about to happen. Um, so this is the lower case, and it already has the upper case. Let's see. Let me, let me come back, let me pause this video and come back, but... Yeah, so they have the two things, and luckily I had Nathan with me, so I had him buy this with the coupon, and I got that with the coupon, because there is no way. Luckily, some of the ladies already, some of the cashiers over at um, Hobby Lobby already know. They don't even ask him if he wants a bag, because, you know, this is going to go for me. But let me, let me, let me pause this, because I don't want to look extra stupid trying to figure this mess out as I try to read slowly the instructions, and I will come right okay. back. <laughs> <laughs> I, I've been literally laughing at myself and I tried not to I'm like let me get let me get the giggles out before um, I get back on here let's just say that this little contraption was challenging I had to actually go on YouTube to find some tutorials of somebody explaining it because I read the directions and I got bored <laughs> I looked at the pictures look <laughs> um Truth be told, this is the IKEA instructions of crafting, okay? I know everybody complains about that. By the way, if you do have IKEA furniture, just look it up on YouTube. They have videos. Super, 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 super simple. Because that little funky man on there doesn't help you. But I digress. So this looks like it makes sense, you know? And you're reading it, and I'm just like, ugh. Let me just look at a video. So... It doesn't surprise, I went back and I looked at the original We Are Memory Keepers video and I should have figured out that this thing was huge. Yeah, that's the microwave because I don't know how to cook. Anyway, I should have figured out that this thing was gigantic when the video has somebody holding it like this. I didn't really notice it until now. And I'm like, what in the F? By the way, yes, I do curse, but 
I was like, what? This is gonna be the randomest video, you guys. I'm like, what in the what? The, I should have realized when they were holding it with two freaking hands. This thing was freaking huge. So anyway, I finally figured it out. You know, you feed it in. Um, you feed it. You feed it in through here. Close it and then just kind of push it in there. I thought it had to go like along these. If you put it right here, the little cartridge right here, it sticks there. It stands there. It's not supposed to be there because then you can't close this thing. And it has to, oop, it has to, you know, come through here, go through there. And these little things align with that. So I learned that the hard way. And you have to pop it in. Now, as you're doing this, it'll pop back out. I already have the... I think the A, the M in there, ferrometer, and then you have to like, watch. You have to get it right there because if not, you'll you'll see what the samples that I get. I'll show you guys in a minute. Okay. Hold it hard. And you have to grip it from the top part to get the letters because if you hold this down, if you just punch it through here this is to kind of like release the tape or whatever um see so you do just like a little little kind of you know just a little a little tap a little lovely tap tap and you want to get it to where you're showing it because it cuts by pulling on this thing here it doesn't always cut and it pulls it out right there so let me show you what happened initially because I said, hey, let's get all, you know, gun, guns a-blazing. Let's just go in there and everything shooting. This is what happened. I literally just wasted tape. So, uh, okay, let me let me just give you my, my final thought. I have to really, 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 really want this label on something for me to go through this. Um, and I really don't have anything for it. But I'm like, let's say, let's say I'm going to do a project, like a scrapbook thing. I'm just going to find the font. And do this on my cameo and print it out um because there's a there's a font that has this um oh crap is this the one i just did and is this the garbage i just got okay yeah this is the one i just did and this is the garbage that i just got this is the first one that i did and this is what happened this was like this was the second one i think i did yeah the second one this one I, I was still trying to figure out how to use the little cutter thing. This one is the one I just did, I think. Yeah. This is the one that came out pretty good. But this is all the the stuff that I wasted. So, little things that I've learned is that when you cut it, it has this little thing. Instead of trying to get it here, it has this little thing that cuts it halfway for you so you can peel this off. Obviously, I'm not going to use this. Because this looks like it says Avador. Can't use this one. Cut off half of what I needed. This one, well, you know. I was trying to figure out. This one looks like it's a ghost version. This one came out right. I don't remember what I did for this to actually come out right. <laughs> so with that being said, um, no thank you. I am going to... <laughs> I know some people have had success with this, and I may be an idiot. I may be a crafting idiot, but it's not worth the waste of it for this. I just think I would probably just... There's a font on the Cameo software, because I, I, I use a Cameo, um, where you can make this and just... I can't. Here I thought I was doing it right, and that's what I come up with. Um, okay, you know what? Let's, let's just try this one more time. Let's just... That's the mailman. Hold again. on. So, now that I've collected myself a little bit, this is real time Amateur losing his his mind. Okay. <sighs> okay. So we're gonna try this one more time before I just put this back in the box and take it back to Hobby Lobby. Let's try this one more time. <laughs> this is literally this is going to be the timeline that's presented in court when Amateur like snaps and ends up. <coughs> excuse me. <coughs> choking to death ends up like in road rage on the freeway. This is the timeline that they're going to show in court of Amador unraveling. All right, let's try this one more time. Whew. <clears throat> so it's fed. It's in there. I'm squeezing it. For a second, I forgot how to spell my name. 
<coughs> Excuse me, sorry, you guys. <clears throat> I ran to check, get the mail that just came in. And this could just be one of those things of, you know, just user error. Um, okay, I'm, how sad that I'm super trying to concentrate. Where am I going? I'm super trying to concentrate on this thing because I'm embarrassed now. But let's, you know, let's push through this. Let's push through this. Now, also, when I squeeze this, this whole thing feels like it opens up. Right here. Yeah. I have a feeling that. All right, so now let's just feed it through a little bit. All right, let's try this again. So you have to hold this down. Okay, so that one actually came out pretty okay. But I love imperfect perfections. But I don't think I love this. Let's try this one more time. Let's waste some more time. Let's screw it. We're already here. Um, let's try it again. One more time. I'm just trying to see how I feel this whole gripping thing. Let's try the M. And again, seriously, I'm going to lose my mind. Either I figure this out, I'm technologically challenged and all, but damn. Okay. People are just going to think I'm nuts that I'm sitting here making my own name over and over. Oh yeah, other way, dude. Over and over. But I need to, I need to get at least this right. Okay, that's, and then you just pump it. No, this has got to go. All right, so I'm over it. This has got to go. You know what? Let me let me try on my Cameo to show you what I mean. And I know it's a font that you could download. This is going back. I really hope I have the receipt. Now, I already wasted some of this. I didn't use the one that came in the package. So, I'll figure out what I'm going to do. And the worst part is I thought this was really cute because this is like a wood grain. And I don't know how this one would work. Being that it's white. I don't know. I'm a little... And I could be doing something wrong. But I'm trying to follow all the instructions. I follow the videos. Um, I'm literally just wasting tape. So let me let me get my laptop. Let me let me just do something and I'll be right back because I'm trying not to spiral right now and lose my mind. But I'm 99.9999% sure this is going back. So, but let me try something right, now. Else. Before I became unhinged, I went ahead and tried something else. Um let me grab the other part I need because why be prepared, right? So, like I was telling you, there's this font that I've used in the past on my Cameo. I can make the letter smaller if I want to. Here's what it is. Because God forbid I actually learn how to, um, let's see, let me, what? All right, so the font is called LD Punch Out. That's the bottom one. And also, let's see, this one. It's called ND Punch In. So basically, this one already has the background. And even though it's split, you see the little um, lines right there? That's because the, the letters. Once you once you set it here and I remove the cut lines, you get a solid image. And then this is the second one, the punch out. So all you do is then just create a... Um, just with your little thing to create a rectangle, you create a rectangle you move this right over that oh we can let's send this one to the back let's see send to back okay i go and i go to the color where's the lines the lines and then the color i put no color and that's what you get and that's what you end up with the bottom one the top one is this one right here. Now, that might seem like extra work. I went ahead and I measured it. I sized it to 
um, I think I, this one. This one is sized to 3 4 inch because this one's 3 4 inch. You can size them to whatever size, fill it whatever color you want. Now, you're probably thinking, okay, but that has like a glossy thingamajiggy. No problem. Let's try this. This is, I'm literally just trying this as we're going. I have no idea what we're doing right now. Um, we, you can do it on cardstock. I just did it on copy paper right now because I don't know if it's going to work. <laughs> and I'll just take my junk scissors. Now, the reason why we did this, and by the way, whenever I have stuff like this, I print, I use it as scratch paper later. So that's going down there. And it's obvious that I need to change my ink or get new ink. I didn't want to do, because you know if you run out of black ink, you can do the thing where it fills with the other color. I didn't want to do that. Do, do, do. And it's a solid black line, so. I typically like to do, when I do these things, do on print on cardstock. Either heavyweight, my, print, my printer will take light heavyweight cardstock. Okay. So let's say you're like, okay, well this does, you know, this is plastic and has the glossy thing. Well, there you go. So does this now. So does that now. And it took me less time to find this font and everything in my, my silhouette software. And I'm pretty sure you can download this font anywhere. I'm pretty sure if you go to like font.com or Defont or whatever, 101, whatever that is, and you can download a font like that. And yeah, I really should have done it on cardstock as opposed to but at least this way once you get the right ink you replace your ink you know that you are at let me see so this is the one that's did i cut it shorter i think i cut it i think i i cut it less but anyway you size it three fourths of an inch um i think i just cut off way more than i should have and you can resize the letters to make them smaller or whatever but at least this way they're like you know, direct, but I have to go to the post office today to drop off an order that somebody picked up. I mean, that somebody ordered. So this is going to go back. I, I can't literally, I just wasted all of this tape. Um, so this is going to go back. I mean, to each his own, if you guys can get it to work and if you guys can, you know, make it work. Fantastic. I'm very proud of you. Um, <laughs> but where's my other one? But I just, I, yeah, oh, here. See, I couldn't even tell which one was which. I'd rather just get it right this way and do it like that. So if you guys have a Cameo, but like I said, you don't need the Cameo. I'm pretty sure that some of this font, some of these fonts are available somewhere. But it has that little ridged edge. It looks just like the real thing. I'd rather do this. And actually, this is something I already have in my computer. I already have in my um, Silhouette software. As opposed to this, I, I, I just can't. Because here's the thing. Um, for every time you change the role, for every time you change the color, it's just going to, you're going to go through the same thing. I tried several times before I even came back on the first time in the video. I tried several times and it just was, it just was not. So I appreciate it. Good try. Uh, it could be user error to be told. I'm not going to lie. It could be user error, but I'm not willing to waste more money for if it is a user error anyway, but I doubt it. Some of these gaps are pretty big. When you pull this closed, this kind of buckles. It's no. I'd rather at this point, if I do really want one, I'll go ahead and order one from like Amazon or online or look for an old one on eBay or something like that. But this is a no-go for me. So sorry, you guys. But like I said, at least I didn't lose my mind because I did have to go to the post office because I didn't want to go unhinged. I'd rather just make it myself and just throw some packing tape over it and there you go for the little glossy vinyl whatever this is but thank you guys for stopping by sorry for the madness sorry for the craziness i appreciate it um and if you do have this and you can get it to work good luck um it didn't work for me all right thanks everyone i'll talk i will talk to you guys soon bye everyone